We all love a good hack, especially those that can save us time and money. So today we are talking kitchen hacks that will keep your fruits and veggies fresh for weeks. Chef Jerry James Jones joins us now to break it all down. Chef, these are great ideas that we all need because we buy too much or we want to prepare ahead of time, but we don't want the vegetables to go bad on us. So yeah. we need to we need to figure this out. So help us out on this. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. You know, it's like you said, you're prepping ahead of time or also you maybe just want to take fewer trips to the store mm -hmm. and you want to prep and you want that food to last and you want to save money and fight food waste, which is another yeah. benefit of learning how to store things. So I have a few things that right here I have potatoes, just some common ingredients, of potatoes, broccoli, oranges um, that we're going to kind of go through and talk about how to store those things. Okay. Um, so one of the things that's really great about broccoli is, you know, obviously it's just a super food, it's packed with nutrients, but um, it's actually a flower. You're eating the flower part of the plant. So when you're storing it, you really just wanna store it like a cut flower. It, literally just putting it into a jar of water can take it from lasting just like about a week or so to like almost a month. Really? And it's just, yeah, it's amazing how long it will last because it's like a cut flower. Um, depending on your refrigerator now, you might want to put a bag over it. Different refrigerators have different humidity. And so for that reason, you might want to just put a bag over it to kind of protect it a little bit. But that said, having that water there for it to like live off of can increase the broccoli's lifespan a lot longer. What if you wanted to freeze it? Now, if you wanted to freeze it, the main thing that's really important when you're freezing uh, produce is you want to blanch it first. Mm. So if you um, if you don't blanch it first, then it's actually going to just kind of the texture of it's going to be really unpleasant when you take it out of the freezer. Mm. So um, by just kind of giving it a quick little cook, like just cooking it in boiling water for about a minute, put it in an ice bath and then freeze it, then yeah, you can definitely, it'll last a really, really long time that way. But it's really important that you uh, cook it first. I wanted to ask you too, when you're talking about refrigeration of broccoli, the only thing that bothers me though is then it kind of stinks sometimes. Is that because it's too close to being <laughs> dead or am I just buying poor broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, broccoli definitely has an aroma to it. And so that you might just want to use the bag method for that reason alone, just to kind of prevent it from like, you know, putting off a smell also from absorbing anything else that you might have in the fridge. Mm. Um, you know, it, you know, especially if you're buying organic broccoli, like those can kind of sometimes be a little bit more potent. So yeah. it's not uncommon for that to happen. All right, let's move on to the potatoes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, potatoes, you know, definitely a staple. So one thing that's, um, I think, kind of confusing for people when they go to the grocery store is how the grocery store stores, stores food is different than how you should store it at home. And what I mean by that is when you walk into the grocery store, the produce is typically out in the open. They spray it with water. Um, you definitely don't want to wash anything before you put it in the fridge because it's enclosed where at the store it's out in the open. And often you'll see potatoes stored um, next to onions and garlic, but it's actually, you don't want to store them next to onions and garlic. And you definitely don't want to put them in the refrigerator. The, if you refrigerate your potatoes, it actually takes the starches and converts them to sugar, oh. which makes it really, un yeah, it's unpleasant, like not like a sweet potato, not in a good way. It's like an unpleasant uh, sugar potato. So you definitely don't want to put them in the fridge. I recommend putting them in a brown paper bag. Um, store them in a cool, dry place like your pantry or your garage. They like to be cold, but they want ventilation. So that's one of the reasons you don't want to also store them in the fridge. They want airflow. So having like an open paper bag that can sort of absorb, absorb any moisture, but also kind of keep that airflow, and they'll last a really long time that way. How long are, are potatoes really good for? Do you Can you eat them up until they start sprouting, or is it are they go south before that? Yeah, I mean, they will show you when they're bad, right? So okay. you really can eat them until they sprout or until they, you know, they start to wrinkle. Like you don't want to eat potatoes. You definitely don't want to eat them if they're green at any level. So like, that's really important too. You want to keep them out of light. That's why you want to store them in a, green, in a cool, dark place because the sun can turn them green. And if it's green, it'll make you sick. So don't don't eat those. Okay. But um, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, you can literally keep them until they kind of show you that they're no longer good. Okay. All right. So you have the, uh, it was that oranges there. And and onions, you have some other stuff for us? Yeah, so yeah, so oranges, you know, it's funny because, you know, citrus looks really, really great on a counter in a bowl, right? It's mm -hmm. one of those things that you put on the table, put on the counter, but it's the worst way to store it. <laughs> um, but citrus actually does better in the refrigerator. Um, one of the reasons is that citrus loves being cold. It likes being really, really cold. And so you want to have 
um, your citrus in the fridge, not on the counter. Now, the trick is, the pro tip for that is, and before you're gonna eat it, like take it out of the day before. So what I do is I put my citrus in a bag and it, it likes to be cold and it likes humidity. So I put it in a sealed bag and I put it in the fridge. And then if you have a crisper drawer, that will also work for uh, creating that humidity. Put it in the fridge. It'll, I've had citrus actually last for months this way. Oh. Um, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, but put it in the fridge. And then the thing is, you want to just take it out like a day before you're going to enjoy it because having it come to room temperature will improve that flavor. Mm. It's really, um, you know, the colder something thing is like the harder it is for your taste buds to register oh, it yeah. so having having it come to room temperature is really key for uh kind of increasing that flavor so funny like so, so many simple little things can really mm -hmm. increase the longevity of uh, some of your fruits and vegetables so many things and that's why i tell people like one of the main things is you just definitely don't want to wash produce before you put it in the fridge i think a lot of people because they're concerned about it being clean you know just wash it before you use it the only thing that you really want to wash before you put it in the refrigerator is berries i would wash those in like a vinegar water wash that kind of removes all the bacteria and microbes on them and actually that'll keep your berries fresher much longer sure. if you kind of remove all that before you put it in the fridge good to know oh, very good sure. yeah. well, thanks so much for joining us we appreciate it i'm sure yeah, he has course. more tips there on his website as well thank you so much fantastic